my tent. I bought this ketchup just so I could have as much as I wanted. <laughs> so I, I talked to Phil Kasikoff today. Phil Kasikoff? Yeah, you know, my friend, the bra salesman. He says they're looking to maybe put somebody on, so I got you an interview next Friday with the boss. <laughs> Watch this every day, all day. Good night. Take care. And we're back. Oh, there's a bunch of mail. Oh boy. Should make the kid bring the trash recycling in, huh? What up, zebra? Well, they didn't take the trash today, so we gotta wait for that one. And screw the HOA. This is going right here for now. You, got, you know, the trash isn't taken. I don't know what to tell you. That's mom's package. I believe this is Beckham's. It was a late Christmas present. We're going to try another refrigerator lock. This one feels more heavy duty. It's, you know, it's not like the rubbery ones with a bike lock. So we'll try that today, obviously. Dad grabbed himself a couple more pairs of sweatpants. They were like eight bucks. They originally were 25 on Amazon. They're really thick, so I needed a couple more pairs. First, before the kid gets here, this is, uh, we couldn't fit all that, so let's put that away. Recycle, kids. Come on, Beckham! You'll never guess who's here. Okay. You'll never guess who's here. Somebody's here for you. Sweetie? No, there's somebody here on the couch. He's here. There's somebody here for you. Yep. Yeah. Not today. Come here. Come here. No. Yeah, you can get that to charge, but let's hear. There's somebody who's here for you. Come on. He's here. He's sitting on the couch. Who is that guy? Look, it's who. Guess who that is? Who is that? Is that Mickey? Look, Mickey Mouse is here. You want to see him? He took over the couch. He's watching his clubhouse. He's like, I need to charge my... Come here, look, it's Mickey. Oh, you want to remember here? But look, it's Mickey Mouse. What do you think of him? He wants to hang out with you. Yes, you're Mickey. He's as big as you. You give him a hug? Can you give Mickey a hug first? No, he wants to remove. He wants to change Mickey Mouse call. <laughs> so we'll just let him do his thing. Sorry, Mickey. He's not gonna let you watch that. You're gonna get stop from kicking the mailbox. Now you know how he breaks out of the house so easy. In. Sure, you gonna watch it with Mickey Mouse, TJ and friends? Yeah. You do what you want. Go say hi to Mickey. Give him a hug. He's been waiting for you. He's been in the mail for a month. Poor guy. Go give him a hug. Look, Beckham, he's almost as tall as you. Look, look how tall he is. Ah, he's so soft, too. I love it. Ah! your wrestling buddy your friend <laughs> he's not little mickey like the other guy yeah you like him he's cool wait to the tj and friends huh enjoy your mickey mouse this guy's still over here sleeping he don't ever wake up man he got the life dude i don't know what happened to this i hope it just pops back together oh uh, it's just the velcro piece came off okay never mind it's just the bottom base of this to keep it spread out that's all are right, you getting outfits ready? Good job. Yeah, we got to do laundry today. That's all we got left, huh? We got four left. Don't break that diaper. We, it's not wet, okay? Oh, he is. He jumped right into him. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Mickey. Give him noses. Can you give him noses? Can we do noses? Noses. He's soft, too, man. Yeah. He's got big feet. Look how big his feet are. They're as big as your head. What you looking at? Yeah, you can wrestle with them, too. You can sit on them, with you, wherever you want. Yeah, I opened that to get some air in here, because I'm stuffy, because I got layers on here, kid. Here, let me shut this. Wee! I want a hug! Yay! He's so big. He's 40 inches. Yay! <laughs> I think your brother's going to like him. Brothers didn't come yet. He's got a little while. We'll wait for that one, though. We'll tell you about that one later. You'll see it. Oh! oh. Yeah, give him nice hugs. Thankfully, he's really soft, but he has the plush. It's not like the, 
you know, stuff you get at carnivals and other stuff. It's an actual Disney one. Just got to sip. It's a really good deal. You just have to wait a month to get it. $20 for a giant Mickey Mouse. That's a deal. My helper, he got the peanut butter already and the bread out. Good job. Let's plug this in. That's a no. <coughs> Do not jam this in that. That does not plug into that. This one plugs in. You have to unplug it and plug it in. Look, plug it in. This thing's broken anyway. We need to get rid of this. You just can't see the one day for that. Keep this in here, though. Where's all this go? Can you put this away, please? Put this in a dirty clothes. Dirty. Good job. You dropped the socks. It's all good. Can you get the socks? You dropped them. Dirty. Come on. Let's speed up the process. Come on. Where's the backpack go? Backpack goes up there. Hey, hey, no, no, no. It goes up there. Up there. So daddy can go through it and make sure you were a good boy at school. This all goes in the closet, though. Good job. This is yes. Put our shoes away. This is what you do when you come in the door or after whatever. You don't, you know, you don't have to do it right away, but don't expect dad or mom to do this for you for the rest of your life. Your hat. Or you can wear it, whatever you prefer. Good job. This is yes. Now close the door. Close the door. Watch your fingers. Good job. Yeah, you did it. Good job, Beckham. Now dad's going to go wash his hands and then we're going to make you dinner. Rudy is here. Send him up. You stay in your seat, please. Come on, brother boy. Come on. Thank you. You two have a good weekend. Hi, right, baby boy. Hi. Oh, there he is. Come on, we gotta go inside. We got cars moving, buses moving, brothers in there, Mickey Mouse. What you doing? How was school? What'd you do? You see a happy boy today, not tired today, huh? You'll never guess who's here, though. I kind of told you, but I don't think you were listening. Besides your brother, I mean, your brother's here. It's brother, but look bad, Brody. Look who's here on the couch. Who's that guy? We'll show you later. Uh, he's more concerned with getting some milk and uh, food in him. We're going to make Beckham and Brody back the usual. Two peanut butter sandwiches for Beckham and then two for later. Man, it's eight pieces of bread. It goes like that. Yeah, I know. You want you want a drink. Hold on. First, I want to hear some music. Where's my music at? Play me some music. Hey, play me some beautiful music and I'll get you a drink. Come on. No? <laughs> All right, that's some music. I like it. As I open the fridge, there's no cups for water. Beck, I need you to go get the water cups. Red and yellow, please. Can you go get them for me? Man, he didn't even give me any ish. You see that? Look at that. Thank you. Good job. As many cups as you can find. Here's some milk that's in there for now, if you want that. While Beckham's getting the cups, let's show Brody this guy. I can't believe you ain't got the cups without giving me any crap. Maybe you have something to do with it. You got the cups on your own. Good job. Yeah, you did it. Look who it is. Look. Hey, look at this guy. Look how big he is. He says, hi, Brody. I want to hug you and kiss you and love you. <laughs> look how big he is. That's a big Mickey, huh? He's as big as, uh, you know, some kids. He's three and a half feet tall. Where did Beckham go to get more cups? Look how big he is. Look how big his feet are. I know. He's big Mickey. I'm going to put him on the couch. And then you can uh, hug him, squeeze him later on whenever you want. Mickey, sorry for throwing you. Man, you're on a roll listening today. I said there's too much stuff up here. The cars. And he, I said, please put them over there. Man, you're listening really well today. Thank you, Beckham. Does it have to do with Mickey? I wonder. I, I like that. Be good at school. I said, be good at school. He played it. And he was like, hmm, was it this that did that? I don't know. This was well behaved. He's been in a while. I think it's Mickey Mouse. You got your, yeah, you want your vitamins too? Good. good job. He's ahead of me. We'll get there, buddy. I'm going to get him too. Let me get your brother's stuff too. Start the start the eat your PB and J first. Eat that first. Yeah. Here's your milk. Get your milk. Where are you going? You're gonna go get some fruit snacks that don't exist. Where are you going? Yeah, there's no fruit snacks, baby boy, because you eat like seven or eight packs a day. I'm gonna get you spaghetti. You want spaghetti, right? Here, I got you. Let's go. Go have a seat. I, was, I didn't get to you yet. I'm sorry. You want some grapes too? Okay. Hey, well, grapes you got cucumbers in there too. Can I see? 
Thank you. Appreciate you telling me what you wanted. Oh, Brody, we got to make you more spaghetti again already. Jesus, man. Tonight you'll be hungry. It's Friday night. Yeah, you washing the pan for me. Good job. You do my little helper, man. You clean that for me. You put more spaghetti in there when I make it. There's your grapes. Pasta. Pasta boy, whole grain, whole wheat. There you go. You got your grapes. You got your spaghetti. You got your milk. And you want some cucumbers too? Oh man, that's gonna fall over, bro, bro. You got, you got to put this up here a little bit like that. There you go. All right, we got to do this first before we cut your cucumbers up. We got to do this, my man, Mr. Brody. We don't need these to get a bunch of food in them. Some blankets for bed. He always brings them down. Great boy, ready? There you go. Where's my? I love you. You were. I hope you were a good boy at school today. I didn't read your report yet. You've been really good since you've come home from school. The best I've seen in a whole time. Sometimes Some little things can change everything. Okay, ready? It's because Mickey says he's watching you now. You didn't put any jelly, so we don't need to get it over as much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You did it, brave boy! Having noses? Where's my noses at? Where's my noses? Can I get a noses? Give me my noses. Mm. Continue to be a good boy today, please. DJ Beckham Peanut Butter Face. Take your vitamins. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. Take your vitamins. That's right. Thank you. Again, the serving size for adults for these is two, so we just cut the dose in half. We just give one instead. You know, again, save your money. Take your vitamins, kids. Good job, Beckham. Thank you so much for reminding me. I love how you're so into taking your vitamins. Take your vitamins, kids. Yeah, he was over here watching. He's like, I can't wait to eat those because he's got no fruit snacks left. So this is your only source now. But again, what is it, Beckham? Take your vitamins, kids. Take your vitamins, kids. Good job. Take care of all the kids. Take care of all the kids. Good job. Take care of all the kids. Oh, we're gonna re we're gonna record it on every one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wipe your face. Wipe your face so you don't get peanut butter all over. You got peanut butter all over your face, bro. Giving them big hugs. <laughs> oh, I love that you love him. Oh. Oh, good thing that he's not real. <laughs> Oh boy, now you're gonna wrestle him too. Look at Daddy taught you, that's no good. It's like you can wrestle him, he's like a wrestling dummy. Wrestling! Wrestling buddy. Mickey's like, oh, I didn't want to be treated like this, but sure, why not? Next thing you know, you're gonna be throwing me over the railing down the stairs. Just be careful with Mickey, don't break him. Yeah. Or anything around you. Oh, he got you, Mickey got your back! Yeah, he knocked you down, huh? Ho-ho! How you doing, Agoo? Look out! I heard you. I'm gone! How you doing, man? No. What you want, sir? You want high fives? I got a high five today. Oh, I get a high five, yeah. Let's save that for your second dinner tonight. Oops. Because I know that's a lot of food already on your plate, Dixon. But you would eat the whole thing. All I eat is pasta. Na, 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 na. Oh, boy. Cheese it's too, huh? Yep. Banana and peanut butter for daddy for now. Take your vitamins, dad. Say it with me. Take your vitamins, dad. Say dad. Take your vitamins, Dad. You have your vitamins, I have my vitamins. What are you doing to Mickey? Why are you taking... No, that's not a good job. Be nice to Mickey Mouse. You always do that eventually with your toy. Just sit him up here. Leave him here. I never leave him here. Fine, he can sit at the counter with your brother then. He'll take over the other guy's spot. Don't be like that. Oh, it's because he's about to rock and he doesn't want Mickey on the couch with him. Okay, we'll leave him down there then. Even I'm not allowed to sit on the couch when he rocks. He won't let me. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, put him in a seat. Okay, be careful with him. That'll make. Yeah. Okay. 
or make the art getting tossed around like a like a Muppet in a cartoon show. Let's put him over here, okay? He's laying on the bench. He's taking a nap, okay? Leave him be. This is why, because he doesn't want anybody near him. You rocking? You stimming, huh? Wait on that pasta, man. Make him my lemonade, too. Might as well. Oh, good. We got a minute to go here. All right, steamy pasta, man. You already have your pasta. This is for later. Thank you for asking about lights off. That's always yes. Lights off, if you ask permission, don't just do it yourself. He did. I said, it's okay. I'm pretty much done. This was what I was waiting on. Show mommy your Mickey. Show mommy your Mickey Mouse. Is your mommy your Mickey? Here. So, mommy, you're Mickey. You were really cute with him when you first got it. When he came in the door, but then when he rocked, you took him off the couch. He's like, no one's allowed on the couch when I rock. Uh, nope, not even Mickey. Come on, Brody, let's go, baby boy. Come on. I didn't even get your shoes off yet. We did all the other things. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, we got to get you in your outfit here. Then I got to do laundry. You giving him love? Yeah, you give him love? He's so cute, huh? <laughs> You're smiling, man. <laughs> yeah, I got the diapers, bro. I got the handle this. I can handle changing your brother on my own, okay? Don't really leave his hair alone. Hey, how you doing? You gonna dance with brother now? Show me your dances. You were just dancing with him. Where's your dance? Come here. Yeah, lights off. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. You wanna jump and dance, huh? You gonna do some dances? You wanna do the jumping bean, huh? This is what you want, right? You want the jump. Ready? Okay. You gotta jump a little bit. To make a knee to it. Okay. To make a knee to it. Give me my big hug. You got a lot of that today. Oh, so good. Ooh, there he is. Happy book. Can my noses? Where's my noses? Mm. You're a good boy. I hope it's full today, right? Where's my big hug? Where's my big hug? My big hug! Oh. Oh. Alright, Daddy's got to go do laundry here. Hold on. We got to go to your reports. He's big, big Mickey. You can't throw him into the bathroom like you normally do. No Mickey in the bathroom. Only you go in the bathroom if you got to go potty. That is the smelliest kid piss laundry I've smelled in a while. Right, we do a heavy duty on this one, obviously. All that that is some piss smell stuff. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? You can drop the keys down to good piano playing skills, my son. Very nice. All right, kids, how'd you do today here? Can you wait to turn the lights off? Wait one minute. Wait. He's sending more pull-ups. Okay. Brody had a good day. Thanks for not listening. I was going to give you popcorn. You know, I'm going to throw it away now. <laughs> you don't need his brother. going to throw it over the face. I don't think you got to report again. Uh, no report. Okay, Beckham, you don't get to be told that if you were bad or good. Were you a good boy at school today? Yeah, you were a good boy. You've been a pretty good boy today. I'll give you that. Thank you. Hey, you want this popcorn? His brother's popcorn left over. Popcorn, yummy. Yeah, we know we love popcorn. What's that? Popcorn. Use that as a recording on your thing. Popcorn monster, man. You ate all that that quick. Oh, yeah, another fridge lock. We'll try this one out. This will hopefully last longer. It's metal bar, but you know, the kid's strength, man. You know, they eventually break these damn things. Oh, hell no, dog. Put that right back. No basketball. Put it back. All right, I'll break the television. Put it back. That's why we've got the footballs put away. Put it down there. There's a bowling ball down there, too. Get out of here. All done. Let's go. All done. All done. I know I didn't do the EGG today. You don't need it today. It's too late. We already did it. So. Always got to check this now because he's pushing buttons, man. And the next thing you know, the laundry's not done. You giving Mickey hugs? Wrestling Mickey, huh? Ooh. Yeah, this is no. Get down. You're going to get hurt back. Get down. This is no. We don't want to climb across. Back on. It's not, you know, monkey bars here, man. Come on. Get down, please. This is no. Wrestle with Mickey. You jump on Mickey. Hop on Mickey. Need that crash pad down here. Let me get Mickey over here again. All right, you, can you just get down? You're gonna be making me nervous. Don't make me have to put the table back over here. No, no walking on the table. Get off the table, get off. You know, can hold your weight, don't. That's why I don't bring the black tables in here because that's what they'll do, they'll walk on them and you know, that's, they're gonna fall, hurt themselves real bad. 
All right, buddy. Everything's locked, including the new fridge lock. We're good. Locks unlocked. Dad's gonna go upstairs and hang out with your brother and play some video games. Let's so we'll give this child some more light. Got for that closet light, huh? He didn't even come up here and help you. Oh, he did. All right. Oh, you're watching yourself watch Monsters Inc. with Dad. Yeah. Yeah, I know you what you want to watch. We're gonna have, we're gonna you're gonna watch Dad do race cars today, though. I don't want a Monster Inc. today. Never mind, he ran out of here. <laughs> he went downstairs, grabbed his tray, spaghetti, his cup of water. I just did it mostly ice again for him. You're good, as long as you eat it all. Make sure you eat it all, please. Oh, hey. You're out of water, huh? You got just ice now, huh? You coming in to ask me for ice, huh? Or for more water, right? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't taking this remote, no. I'm about to play some video <laughs> games, my dude. This is daddy time, man. Come on, man. You can hang out with me, but you're not going to do the, you know, dump another water all over dead here. No, the one lock that I didn't put on yet, and you capitalize on it. Stay out of the dishwasher. I see you. That bowl is dirty, Brody. How you doing? Oh, wow. Wow, look at the pretty lights. Oh, wow. Christmas lights. Flower. Flowers. Mm. Where's Mickey? Where's Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Look at alien. I'm Back of an alien. We gotta get out of here. My car flies though. We gotta broken. get it. What? Broken. It's broken. <laughs> Why did you just put your foot in my face again for attention? He needs attention. He needs attention. What's that? Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. I remember the time you didn't want Monsters Inc. Now you want to, What do you want to take a picture of the Monsters Inc.? There you go, Monsters Inc. A little late to the party here, huh? Monsters Inc. is on. Oh, extra hyper Brody running back and forth and shaking those ice cups like rattles. <laughs> this one over here is doing his art. We chill him. Monsters Inc. Brody just running back and forth. <laughs> He's done this like 50 times now. Somebody did duties, man. Who did duties? Is it you? No, you would tell me. It's definitely that one. You did duties, didn't you? They're about to go into the snow. Oh, he's all wet, too. Ah, oh, yeah, he crapped his brains out. Uh, you know. Let's go take care of that. Let's go take care of that. It looks like you've either... Is it from the water you're dumping? No, that's water you're dumping on yourself, right? No, he had a blowout. He crapped himself. You can see the top. Get up. Get up. You're getting it all over this. You had a blowout. Oh, come on, bro. Seriously, you had to do, you had to have one of those massive duties. God damn it. Let's go. We got to change this. Now I got to clean the cushion over here. No, we went on the bed up here too. Oh, you haven't had one of those in a while. Let's take care of that first, baby boy. Downstairs. I can smell it. It's all over you. You have poop up your back. You need to calm down. Now the thing to do here would be to grab dad by the hand. You're making this even worse. You're jumping on the couch. You're jumping on Mickey. You're getting poop all over the furniture. You need to settle down. Stay still. Stand here and let me get... Stop. I'm glad to see you're having Vaughn bounce and make it even worse for me. As I try to unlock every single thing to get him cleaned up. Well, luckily, we have these two outfits left because the laundry's still running. So I think we got to be prepared with this boy. Man, I can't believe he had a blowout like that. Man. What'd you eat today? Let's, what'd you eat at school today? Oh, we're going to have to take you right upstairs to the shower. Okay, this isn't going to work for me down here. Oh, you got it on this guy. Got it all over things here. We got a whole chair. Got it in the bedroom. Don't touch the keys, okay? Don't. I'm trying to take care of your brother, and you're making this more complicated by trying to leave the house while your brother's having a blowout over here. You're going right in there, baby boy. Let's get this off. You got to walk in here on your own. Thank you. All right, I don't even remember how to go about this. And this one over here, trying to record me, take the keys. We're just going to put the shower on you, you know, that's a thing. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh god. You're being this real. Oh my lord, buddy. It's okay, big boy. Let's watch you down. Get out of here. Get out of here making fun of me. Ooh, all right, we'll be back for that. I don't know what to do today. Oh man. It's been a while since I've gotten caught up with all the Keep going. Keep going. Scott, I tell him not to record with his iPad. Now he's picking up his big DJ thing just to get an audio sample. All right, we watched this, though. This is fine. 
Oh. All right, what? What do you got? You having fun recording me? Yeah. God, do that. You're okay, though. I'm glad we handled that good. We got it cleaned up. I got to make sure what you did over there is wiping stuff. <laughs> what have I done here? Created a monster. <laughs> You're awful. I can't take this anyway. This is too much. <laughs> Don't say those words, though. Don't say that. Don't. Don't say. A, you can say a darn it. Don't say. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we took care of that. Brody's in a good mood. He was just running back and forth, acting all excited because of the wet feeling on his back. I, I didn't notice it. Slowly, just started piling. This one's still doing this. Yeah, I know you like it. You like watching me go. This is a lot. Oh, smell that. It's duties. duties. Look, duties. Duties, yeah. Big brown duties. He's going right in the hamper. Good thing I did the laundry over here. Oh Beckham, don't say that word. Stop. Finally, I left the keys up there. I gotta still do all that. I'm over here trying to get in here thing and I brought it in there because he had me all discombobulated because I thought he might be hiding them and waiting for me to go up and then he's going to run out. But no, I left them up there. You hugging Mickey? You got to let me know when you do those duties. When it's all wet on your back like that, you can't just run around and play with like that. Now I got to go clean up the whole path, huh, buddy? I got a lot to clean up, baby boy. You going to share Mickey with him? You hugging him? Make sure we share. Be nice. Started wiping that little spot behind him. I don't think he really got it bad over here, but here, stand up real quick. Stand up. Just make sure. Yeah, you didn't get it here. It's on that chair you can see upstairs. Yeah, no trolls behind his bed. Left behind is better than that. But I gotta go clean all that up, man. I'm gonna rinse off too. He got me good. I'll be back. You behave, kids. Everything's locked. Where are you going? All the lights off downstairs, not up here. There, back. back baby boy, go downstairs, please. Don't go in there. You don't want to go in there, baby boy. Downstairs with brother. I'm cleaning. Go. Downstairs with brother. It smells like poop. Leave this shut. I'm going to clean it up. Downstairs. I don't smell any in here. I think we lucked out. He was just jumping over here. and We caught it before he ended up going all over the place. Thank God. I only saw him in one spot. We were sitting over here. Yeah. 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 See, it was starting to seep through. Oh, this is gross. Hey. No. No bad words. Yeah. It's poop. Do not say what daddy says. Daddy, I'm mean to, and daddy's a little upset and stressed. Don't say bad words. No. None of those bad words. No, because your brother's going to dump water all the place. No. Wait till I'm done cleaning up the bathroom and myself. Now we cleaned up in here. You wait. Yeah, it smells really bad, right? Yeah, thank you. This duty called for a trash bag. All right, children, you behaving? Daddy ended up taking a shower. I needed one after that duty splashes. I hear you. What's wrong? What's wrong? Did you have another accident? What's wrong? What? I'll be down to feed you in a second. I know you're hungry again. Beckham, I love Brody. Okay. Get your tray. Come on. I'm going to feed you right now. Let's go. Carry this down. Let's go. Come on. Let's go eat. Come on. Let's go. I know you're hungry. That's what you're trying to say. Come on. Let's go, baby boy. Oh, Brody. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, bring the tray. You waiting on your spaghetti water combo here. Show the other cup down here, okay? Okay. Sorry, Daddy wanted to take care of himself for a moment there. I smelled like you splatted poop all over me, buddy. A little splash residues of doobies. All right, you want to eat again too? You got to be changed. The long last you want to eat? No. No. Okay. Good. Just bag of doobies in there. Okay. That right, laundry's done. We got to put the laundry in. All right, clean fresh clothes with dad, thankfully. All right, kids, a nice time dry. So you have nice clothes, warm clothes for tomorrow, your onesies. 
All right, now who wants to eat? Who wants to eat? Come on, Brody. Come on, you want to eat? Come on, baby boy. Stop eating food off the floor. That's probably what gives you diarrhea to begin with, bud. What do you want to eat? You want some spaghetti, cucumbers. Let's hope he doesn't have another one, another blowout. This is why I prepared the food already. We got the spaghetti ready to go. We got the peanut butter and jelly in the freezer, the peanut butter sandwiches in the freezer. You're not eating crackers, it's garbage, no. All right, Brody, there it is, let's go. I got frozen PB and J, yeah, ready? There they are, the crustables, yeah, they... Pizza? No, I'm not making pizza at 8 o'clock. At... <laughs> it's 8.30 at night. Oh, uh, you're not fine pizza, sure. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. All right, it's fine, it's Friday night, I don't have his pizza night. All right, it's time for this, and since we've got this blue pen, so much easier for the long lasting for him, right? So much nicer than I have to have a needle stuck in your arm, a syringe, I mean. This is, this is blue. Blue pen. Blue? You're wearing blue? Happy, yeah, I know. This is nice, isn't it? Hopefully this will be a regular thing for now, but I don't know. I think mommy's friend had an extra one of these around. It's the same that takes her since I did it, but his insurance won't cover it. Depends all this. It's all nonsense, man. It's just, you know, it's a kid have it easy. It's a difference if it's in a pen or a swing, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You did it. Good job. Brave boy. I know, I poked it in there pretty hard. I'm sorry. Let me make sure it's in there. It's okay. Hey, all right, let's check your blood sugar, too. This is my third son now, Beckham. This is mine. This is Mickey. He's my other kid. He's so big. He's this big, you know, he's a big kid. He's big baby, big Mikey. Mikey! Is he Mikey or Mickey? What is he, Mikey or Mickey? Mickey Mouse or Mikey? Hopefully this doesn't fall apart on him. Don't be taking his clothes off. He got pockets too. Oh, he got pockets. Take his clothes off. No, no, don't take his clothes off. Ah, kid. Hey, you want to eat or what? You waiting for to eat with brother? Okay, that's nice of you. Well-mannered son. Get out of here, you nosy little pervert. I'm going to slap you silly. Get out of here. Get out of here. Little home well reference. <laughs> ah, can you stop turning the lights on and off while I'm trying to get dressed? Show me. Look what I can do. Jump. Go ahead. Do your jump. Look what I can do. <laughs> oh. It's something about him looking through the windows and the reflection. He goes back and forth to that door to that. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> That's why I leave it open here too, though, because I worry. Can you please, for the love of God, just. Are you done now? Go sit down so I can get dressed. Look what I can do. Okay, now go sit down and wait for your pizza. Look what I can do. Okay, go sit. Stay out of there. Beckham, boys, don't go sit down, please. Get, get, get out of here. Yeah, I hurt your finger. Push it down. Don't take the keys. Yeah, I hope that's a lesson. No touching the keys. This is no. This is no again. Leave the keys alone. Stop hitting that. You don't hit pipes. Hey, stop, stop. That can shut. Stop. Go sit down. Beckham, I need you to sit down. Man, let's get dressed. All right, we got one layer on. Bloated, bloated, bloated. These are dirty. All right, that's going to hit 400. Come on, hit it. And then we put the leads in. Yeah, Beckham, here we go. Perfect timing is that we'll get it in. So he knows how to do this one day. 400 degrees, buddy. Timer, one, four, zero, zero, 14 minutes. Oh, and I see you finally come to eat more after that blowout. You might need even more of this, huh? You got all the whole out of your system there. All right, now behave while I go brush my teeth. You want to brush your teeth? Yeah. Uh, Oh, but why, Beckham? Brushing our teeth is so cool. Mikey says brush your teeth and wipe our own butt. That's a dork. Let me see. Do it again. It looked really cool. I loved doing that as a kid. Put my face up to that. That looked cool. That's Beckham's face. That's your face. We never got to do it with the colors, though. We had to learn the magnet things. Do it again. Let me see. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. Let me see. Go, put it on your face. <laughs> Oh, you got to do it, buddy. Do it yourself. Go ahead, you do it. I don't want to hurt you. These things hurt sometimes pushing up against it. You got to do it again. It didn't get it good enough. Oh, he's like, what? What? You want more pasta? Pasta boy. How about some cucumbers? Some cucumbers? Yeah, okay. Good job. There you go. I'm glad we cut those up already. Please don't have another explosive duty. Always watching TJ and friends. Oh, 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 the videos of all the food. Oh, the junk food. Oh, yeah, you threw up after this. That was real fun for me. I remember that. 
I remember that because he started jumping on the trampoline. He shoved a bunch of cheese puffs in his mouth. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is when you threw up, right? Yeah. We don't have anybody. You got pizza coming out in one minute, dude. There's your pizza cut into eight, eight slices. Are you forgetting something? You're welcome, son. Enjoy. This is, this is yes. Just say thank you. That's it. Okay. Good job. Uh, 313. Oh, boy. All right. We got to give you insulin, too. All right, baby boy, one more insulin shot, and that's it. Then we just got to change you, but we can wait to change you until later, because he might do duties. My dad's looking like a lumberjack, man. I kind of like it, though. The kids like it. They're, like, stemming with it, rubbing. Brody likes to rub his face on it. It's kind of nice. Keeps me warm. All right, let me do the insulin real quick, baby boy. You're making this real complicated. Can you keep your head away from the needle this time? I don't want to do it in the face by accident here. Your fingers are wet. You got to get your fingers wet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All done. That's it. There you go. Now all you need to do is get changed. We put the diaper and the wipes and the outfit on top of the fridge. But in worst case, he's going to a brand new outfit. We have one left. It's all ripped apart. Laundry day. Go me. Pizza's good, yummy. Looks good. What do we think? Keep the facial hair, lose the facial hair. Oh, we can't have comments. That's right. Uh, what are you getting? Relaxed mode? Here, you let me get your new diaper then. Come here. Come here. I was just about to go to the garage. It's a new diaper. Okay. Thank you. Now remember, I asked you if you need to do pee pee or poopy, and he said, eh. So please don't do it. And we'll save this outfit. He wanted to change it, but I was like, dude, this is an emergency. We still got a half hour to that laundry's dry at least. As I think about it, probably longer is all the towels and stuff. Right? Nah, that thing ain't got to be done for a good hour. All right, he's got his blankets. He's already changed. We might have to change them again. We'll see. After that blowout, that was like, what, a little over an hour ago, hour and a half? He's got two diapers on, though. One of the older ones, we had a couple of those left. I overtopped it. All right, you enjoying your hairless kitty over there? You guys be good boys. I'll be back. Be nice to Mickey Mouse, to Mikey, okay? They look tired, so I got a feeling they'll be done by 9.30. Take your vitamins, Dad. Let me go through this thing fast. That's the reason. I needed to get another one of these. That's what I keep forgetting to get. All right, it's 930. Wrestling, you know, news. The usual. Easy day with the boys. They were really good today. Let's see if they want to go down. I don't think they're going to want to. Oh, he already went down on me. One down. One down. Uh oh, you got Don Toretto's house over there. That comes out. Baby boy, you got your Mikey. Hug him! Hug him, it's time for bed, it's me, Mickey Mouse! Woohoo, let's go, it's bed, woohoo, hug him! <laughs> let's get them gummies, baby boy. <laughs> you, want, you want your gummies? You got your blue box, you pack it up, I'll get you gummies. All right, let's get those keys, though. Lock this. Good job. Uh, two for fives. We have one left in there. I have more in the closet. From Andy gave us a six month supply here, so we'll have to go do that. And we go up. We'll let Beckham go up tonight, and then we'll get Birdie to go up after since he's still awake and he's doing his thing. You want help? Here's your gummy. One should be enough for him. He don't need two. It's 2.5 mil. That's it. Yeah, here. Carry us up. Take two hands. Get the other side. Come on. Grab with your hand. Grab your hand. Over here. Okay. Brody's okay. He don't need his gummies right now. Okay, here. Grab two hands. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you, okay? You go out first. Okay. All right, you can hang out. It's fine with you. Brody's going to join you later because he might have to go potty again. We got to watch that. Ah, oh, you're fast. You ran in there fast. Here's your agua. Man, your room's a mess, kid. Jesus, well, you can make, you know, you'll be fine. He'll fall asleep. We'll come back, check on you. What do we say before bedtime? I love Birdie Dreams. Birdie Dreams, okay. I'll leave this oh, on. I love Birdie. I love Birdie, too. Here, we'll put the nightlight on, okay? Try to get you some sleep. Make your bed. Remember what I told you? Pillow. Can you give me the trays? Give me the trays. Here, let me get that one more. One more tray. One more. Thank you. Okay, we'll be back. Brother and I will be back. Good job today. 
You were really good boy today. I'm really impressed, okay? Such good behavior today. This has been a while. All right, let's get those gummies. To the dad stash. <laughs> Here, baby boy, I got one more. Here, here's one more. Get yourself some sleep. Lay down, baby boy. We'll be back. You were a sound asleep. Go to sleep. Back was in there going, Monster Zinc. <laughs> like, he'll fall asleep. Two of them, he's gonna be out in a minute. We're gonna wait for you to get yours. You can hang out and watch Monster Zinc. Because if he pooped like that, he might have another big blowout. We gotta watch that. Where's the remote, Mickey Mouse? There he is. Oh. There he is. You want to hang out with Mickey and watch Monsters Inc. or you want to watch Mickey Mouse Club? All right, baby boy. You got until you fall asleep or till 10 o'clock, whatever. It's Friday night. We got to make sure no duties happen, okay? Got a good temperature in here. Let me put it to 71. Put the remote up here. Put the melatonin. Wait, we wait to give him that because you don't want to give it to him now. That causes break meltdowns. You wait till he's in bed, you know? All right, kid. I'll be back. Everything's locked up again. I got most importantly, we have those keys because that's, you know. And the melatonin, I like to wait until he's like really ready to go because I've noticed, I've noticed that if it's like if I give it to him too early when he's sitting there, all of a sudden he can start having meltdowns and he'll bang his head once in a blue moon. But like he might just pass out, but then it disrupts it. And wait till he's upstairs, you know what I mean? And he's in his bedroom to give it to him because he struggles to go up the stairs if he passes out in there, which he will with that down here. All right, see how the Brody boy's doing. How's my bear cub doing? Oh, he's still awake, huh? Hi, boo boo. Just Brody, that's all. That comes up. How you doing, baby boy? You hanging out with Mickey watching Monsters, Inc.? You being a good boy. Thank you. What's up, boo-boo? All right, buddy, I'll come back and check on you again. You got a little bit longer. Dad's setting all this up for tomorrow. Let's hope you leave it alone, baby boy. He happy. He's so happy to see you. He's over here giggling, laughing. Yeah, there's a boo-boo. You want to see boo-boo? Can you say boo-boo? Boo boo, give a pet. Come on, pet her. Say hi, boo boo. Oh, I know. You're so excited to see him. You can watch the whole movie if you like, sir. I'll come back to you, okay? Sing it. Mike Wazowski. Sully. Boo. Hi, right, boo boo. You take care of Bodie. I'll be right back. Yeah, you guys hang out. You be nice to her, okay? She knows to run away if you grab her. She's smart. All right, log this back up. We got the ice. Oh, hello. Don't knock over the light, hairless one. All right, I hear Brady going. Meow. Meow. Ready to go up? Let's get you up. It's 10.30, baby boy. It's time to go up. I know. Oh, it's the snowman scene. Oh, I knew it every time. You ready to get some bedtime? No school tomorrow. You get to hang out. Let's get you to bed. Check that diaper. Let's get up. Two for five. Come on, let's go up. You eat those. Let's carry the blankies. Let's get upstairs to bed. We'll leave Dom's house there. I don't know where the cars went. We'll find them. They're probably down on the couch. Come on here. Let's go. Let's go upstairs. My man, keep going. You got this. Let's go. Good job. Yeah, my broody boy. He's doing so good. You got double diapers. You don't need another diaper change. He's not wet. All right, got your blankies. Probably have to cover brother up. He probably doesn't have one on him. He's probably passed out on the floor knowing him. He's over there slumbering. There you go, there's your blanket here. Whoosh. Ooh, let's cover the back of my here a little more warmer. It's a little chilly. Oh, baby boy, sleeping without a mattress cover. You should suck on this thing. He's snoring away. All right, curtain's closed. He is out. All right. Oh, boy. I love you, sweet dreams. Those are mostly... Uh, Ice and I would even manage to find some water, of course, out of your brother's cup, of course. Yeah, let me have this. Let me take this with me. This is it. Do you really need this? Let me dump it out. Let me dump it out. All right, all right, all right. Get some sleep. Okay. 
All right. I love you. Sweet dreams. No school tomorrow. See you in the morning. Afternoon. Snow or no snow tomorrow. We'll see. Hopefully rain. I like that. Uh, he didn't even mess with any of this. That's good, Brody. Yeah, I'm glad you left it all alone. Easy cleanup. TV off. Welcome to the morning routine here, Mickey Mouse. You get to play DJ, DJ Mickey. Let's get this party started. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy, 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 happy birthday, Dad. DJ Mickey. DJ Mickey. DJ Mickey. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> the crew. This is yes. Eventually, I'm going to put plastic toys all over so the cats don't crap on that. Get a steam cleaner handle. We have one I can do it with. We'll get there. It's a pain in the butt. These cats and their duties. Guarantee mom works, wakes up the duties on here somewhere. It's easier on the floor. It stinks when it's on the couch. And that's why the ottoman is out there. Because it's a pain in the butt. All right, kids. I'm probably going to stay here tonight. Let's go uh, end this vlog. No rush. No rush to end the vlog. I sit down and then we'll end it. First, open all three of these doors with this. Just to make it easier, they're all open now. This key's giving us a hard time. It's a little bent. I got There's like six packs of these for like eight bucks. I got to get six more of these things. We've lost so many over the years. We're going to make a nice system for mom and I. Hey, I will get them. I'll get there. Laundry's still going. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's done. Nice and nice and cooked out. Fits there. Nice and warm. Toasty and clean. Oops, I was interrupted by importing the footage too from today. There's the automatic thumbnail it does. It does this with YouTube. I'm really proud of you both today, kids. You guys were so well behaved. I'm thankful for you every damn day, man. It is too cold out tonight. We need to shut this. Just sitting here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Stay nice and warm here, Zebra boy. Yeah, you're my Zebra. Winter gloves resting on a portable heater device. Editing the vlog from today. Zebra, you happen to be that thumbnail, huh? Hey, you are you so handsome, man. I wish we had a cat or a doll that looked like you. All right, let's end this video vlog. I turned 42 in six minutes. All right, so in five minutes, I turned 42. <laughs> 42 years of age, man. Where did the time go? But anyway, let's end this video log. You boys were so well behaved today. As you saw Beckham when, when he got off the bus, uh, of course I stopped him from kicking the poles, eh, whatever he's gotta do to do his trigger thing there. Transitioning transitioning from the bus, school to the bus to home, it's a lot for a child with uh, autism. Uh, he came in, I, I hope the Mickey Mouse thing came out good. I hope I didn't record properly, <laughs> I don't know. That Mickey Mouse is so cool, dude. I got that for him before Christmas. As I got a uh, Brody boy there, Monster Zing, Mike Wazowski, a big one eyed, uh, you know, Mike Wazowski there. Uh, it was either you pay twice the amount for it to be delivered by Christmas or wait a little longer and pay half that price. I was like, okay, half the price. Like, they don't need it right away. They had all, all sorts of gifts on Christmas. I thought about putting the Mickey Mouse away and getting Mike Wazowski and Mickey Mouse together, but they both love Mickey Mouse, so it is what it is. But as we end this vlog, as I turn 42 years of age, I'm very appreciative of uh, you you boys. Brody and Beckham, you two are literally a godsend. You really just blow my mind every day of how cool you are. You guys are like the coolest little kids. And Beckham saying, take your vitamins, kid, take your vitamins, kids. Like, I love that. Like, that is so cute and adorable. I just like, like, oh, look at my man. Right? Take your vitamins, kids. And we will continue to make these video logs and uh, just make memories together. I love it, man. I told mom there's a snowstorm coming in. It's just on the border. We're probably going to get rain here. But you never know. Uh, she's got something to do tomorrow. She hasn't been doing anything for my birthday. I was like... Yeah, hang out with the kids out here in the garage and then you know do our pool thing trolls and all so that's what i want to do 
I honestly would rather do that than go spend time with adults. I'm not going to lie. I, I, huh. I mean, of course I would want to go do that eventually. I'll get there again. But my sons obviously look forward to seeing me here on their days off from school. So I'm not going to take that away from them. Because when I'm not here, Beckham will kick that door that I usually sleep in. And I'm not here. And it, it triggers him, bothers him. And mom will mess with it. He's asking for you. And it's like... So I'm just thankful that mom and I are getting along with this co-parenting thing. No matter what, uh, I do wish I could was still just like living here, but you know, it is what it is. I'm basically living here. I'm here every day, but honestly, I've slept so well not being here. <laughs> so like Beckham's still kicking that door in the morning. He's like, yeah, he was kicking the crap out of there. I bet he was. He started kicking at 730. I bet he was. That's what he does. Uh, and then Birdie today with his uh, blowout today. I'm just like, man, whew. he hasn't had one of those, like, I, I mean, I'm sure a year ago he probably had one over the past year, but, like, not like that. I was just like, dude. He was running up and down the hallway, like, oh, like having time his life. I thought he was just having fun. Here it was, like, the wet feeling on his back because he's a sensory water boy. He's like, yeah, this feels great. It shut my back. Woo. And he sat on that bed, sat on the chair. <laughs> and luckily, it wasn't in his bedroom. As you saw, I'm pretty sure I captured it. Uh, it, it sticks that YouTube buddy flagged us for that. It, it's crazy that it's like, oh, it's educational. But it's like, oh, a duty diaper. Who oh, can't share that? And uh, it bums me out that I can't have comments on these videos. As that's another thing to protect the children. Protect. Are you really protecting kids here? Come on, man. This algorithm is horse-ish, man. I'm sharing moments with my kids. I've even cut out the diaper changing thing because I know that was the number one reason, which I get that. But, like, damn, dude. Which I wasn't even showing nudie, but just, like, even a simple image of them in a diaper. It was just like, oh, take that down. But then let's share on YouTube on news stories or that that dude jumped over the counter into the judge like six foot over a counter into a judge and like tackled her to beat her she's screaming and crying but it's like violence is okay but like i, I get new child duty is never okay but like if it's like when they're real little like newborn stuff i've had that even like it's like okay the birth videos i have both their birth videos on there that was even an issue i don't expect it to be monetized but like it's educational childbirth and researching and development with autism it's just like how did the birth go? And the the doctors even told me, and there's a cold. Beckham's birth was rough. He's going to have behavioral issues. They were spot on, dude, and he did. Uh, Brody's was an hour long, but it was smooth. And he's going to be a simple kind. They knew right away. So that's what I mean. It's like, that's the study here. And at all those appointments, when they went to their pediatrician, and I showed nearly every pediatrician appointment up until COVID, when I was not allowed to attend with mom, and only one adult was allowed to go what they were getting and all that and not saying it's a cause of autism but it could have a benefactor of it all it, again it's to educate others and to also obviously just to make memories more importantly for my sons and I but you don't know when society and all that stuff you're, you're told to do with your kids get them vaccinated do this do this the vaccination has already been proven for the COVID thing it's just like it, it's causing heart failure I, have, I had heart failure in my earlier days and I found like, oh, you should get it. No, no. <laughs> My one doctor was like, he even like said to me, he's like, look, through your size, like, honestly, he's like, through the people that have been coming here through elderly, like, you're not an elderly patient, but like, it's been so, showing negative results. So like, it's up to you, but I'm just giving you the science here. And I thank for that one doctor at the board that actually told me that, because I was ready to get it. And I was like, nope. And after he told me that, he's like, no, I, he's like, your immune system is through the roof. Don't do it. You're not an elderly patient. If you're an elderly man or woman, then yeah, get it. It's all research and development and science and stuff. It is never 100%. Everybody's body reacts different to vitamins also. And it could have been the vitamins that Brody had a blowout. Because all his vitamins, but he took the other day. So, I don't know. The cucumber right in there with the water. It is like... <laughs> man, that thing was up his back, dude. <laughs> we get his memories and laughter. And as long as Brady don't, Brady don't care, dude. And I'm sure you're going to hear people go, oh, what do you think he's going to think about when he's older? Brody's not going to give an ish, dude. Brody, you got to understand autistic children before you start judging all that stuff. And then Beckham busting my chops while I'm cleaning them up in there. 
I can't help but laugh about that. It's funny. He's just sitting there. He's like, oh, dude, he's recording. We go, oh, ish, the, the fucking bad pay ball. It's on your back. And he's out there laughing. That's funny to me. That's something we can laugh about one day. At the time, I was like, wasn't that funny? I kept my cool with him. I was like, this kid. It's like, I created that with him. So I understand. I got to take responsibility for all this. And again, it's karma for all the videos I've made of my dad and my mom and all that stuff. And then speaking of mom and dad, again, it'd be nice to... Obviously, Dad can't be around because he's, he's gone. He passed away at 49. I'm 42. I, got, if I, if, I hope I make it well past my dad's age. But my man smoked. Uh, my dad smoked two packs of marbles every day and ate a grilled cheese sandwich every day. <laughs> it's not a healthy diet. Uh, I'm really on my vitamins and all that stuff, and I hope I get, to be, get back to like more vegetables in my diet. But I got to get a vehicle to travel to the fresh produce place and do all the green juice and all that stuff. But uh, my last checkup at uh, DeBoer, it's like, man, what do you do? Or when I was over there for the thing when I had the infection on my finger from Brody uh, putting holes in the wall and I had to repair it. And I ended up getting a small infection on my finger. And now my finger looks like this. It's all bent. Because apparently I should have wedged it like this to make it straight. But I, I don't care. But uh, they're like, man, you're one of those rare cases that like, you, you're like, what do you do here? And the doctor was asking, I was like, yeah, so I did a lot of green juice, take my vitamins every day. So mentioned some of the supplements. I just go, oh, I've never heard of that. I was just like, of course, honey, you've never heard of it because that's what you were studied and told, you told to do and how you learned in, in high school, 20, or excuse me, not high school, well, college and 25, 30 years ago. You don't know about CLQ dead, how car and D, like you don't know any of that stuff. Or, I mean, you know, fish oil, but even then they were like, fish oil is all that great for you. Like, Get the man. It's like brain function and all that stuff. It, it drives me nuts, man. I don't get into that too much, but you, you know what your body needs, and at least once a year, every six months, if you can do every six months, if you have all the nerves, go get a body scan. I get one once a year, and I always do great, so liver, kidneys, heart, everything, I'm like, man, your heart is pumping so well, it's like at the perfect heart rate, I was like, what are you doing, I was like, uh, <laughs> this is like, I don't know, <laughs> It's interesting to me. Everybody's body reacts differently. But again, to focus on the boys, their behavior was so good. I think the Mickey Mouse had a lot to do with that. I'll try to put this on here real quick. When Beckham saw the Mickey Mouse, I was like, yo, everything I asked him to do today, I was just like, no, ah, get the Cubs. Can you put your 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 jacket, your clothes in the laundry, all that. in the hamper? He did it all. That was so good, Beckham. Thank you. That is yes. And then Birdie getting off, he was all happy and smiley to begin with. I love that, man. But again, as I do these video logs, it's just, again, the number one important issue here is just to make memories with my sons as they watch it to educate themselves. And it even educates myself. And I, this is how I cope with parenting them every day is someone say, oh, you need a therapist to speak to, go get help or something like, this is my therapy. I'm communicating through a video camera. I'm ranting, rambling to myself, communicating. I'm getting it out of my system. When there's bad days, the good days. And I'm not, I can't afford to go spend, uh, like mom does, uh, I don't know, $100 a week on therapy. I'm doing that. The talk so I'm like, oh, yeah, how are you feeling today? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that, man. I'm just, I'm so proud of them both. They're so high-functioning, intelligent, sweet, loving kids. Like, they are so nice. Like, it is so nice to have such brilliant minds in your life that you raise as kids. And to see where their potential is and where they will go someday. There is a lot of potential in both of them. Uh, the duties. Duties. That's another little story. As I was thinking about with Brody with the blowout today. Like, he's going to be, he could be doing this forever. And so I said to him, I said, buddy, now you can grab me by the hand and ask me for those fruit snacks and do other things. But you can't grab me by the hand and take me to the, the duty potty and tell me I got to go potty. Like, not tell me, just grab me by the hand. That's how we communicate. You know what you're doing. And Beckham, too. Beckham didn't get a good laugh because he didn't do it tonight. So I'm sure he's going to have a nice duty in the morning. But again, at this age, they're still babies. They, they, they're going to figure it all out in the long run. Let them be kids. Let them, you know, make fun of dad and go, <laughs> and make the recordings. It is funny. I'm not going to lie. It's hilarious. If it wasn't me and you're watching, you know, like, look at these kids teaching. Good karma, kid. Good job, Beckham. So... 
I appreciate every little moment with them. As it, oh, it's well after 12 now. Yeah, I'm 42. Here's to another, I don't know, decade, two, three. Can I, can I live to be really old? My kids are older and I can travel around the United States or anywhere. That's what I really want to do with them one day when they're out of school as education is no more needed other than letting them experience life and get like a motorhome or a vehicle where I can just travel around them. And then these vlogs would be a lot more interesting. And I hope that's the, the situation one day. And then they can sit on a potty by themselves. And that's something I would do with them. I would love that. I would spend every last living day of my life with my kids. And I don't see myself involving myself with another woman. As some people have asked me before. And I'm just like on the dating apps and stuff. But it's all just. And when you go on these dating apps. And you see why these people are single. It's because they're too focused on like. Well, this is a no, I can't do this or I can't do that. Like you, you just got to be just thankful for somebody to be involved with your life. But I get it, you got to be picky when you have an algorithm like like, like that with on a computer and stuff. I just basically said, like, yeah, I'm looking for someone to vibe with. But I got a lot of men hit me up. I'm just like, <laughs> I guess I should put women on there because there's a friendship thing on Facebook, too. And, of course, I'm looking for more friends. Because um, I don't really get a chance to even talk to my own friends today or my family. It's the kids. It's all about the kids. And if you continue to focus on the children with autism, you're going to see the potential that rises with that. And I will continually do that. Like I've said before in the facts in these videos, oh, I've had my fun. I've partied my butt off, man. I've had my fair share of beautiful women in my life. I'm good, man. I am very well satisfied. <laughs> like, I it wouldn't want to take from the kids by being involved with another woman and if that other woman has a child or more than a couple children. I just don't see that happening. And it's hard to find another woman that's really fully involved with their kids. And obviously I don't have it all together financially and all that stuff as I'm still homeless. I'm going back and forth, I'm putting a decent amount of money away here and there. And I even had to turn down a job here with the video stuff because my computer took the flop out here. We're doing all that stuff with the kids out here and it's like, oh, this one's not handling it. So. I'm not concerned with all that, man. You know, like I always say, is I was like, you can take care of your own needs on your own. If you had your fun, you do your fun. I mean, I'd say I never want a companion in my life, but like, I got my little dudes, man. Those are more, those two boys, Brody and Beckham, are more important to me than any old, like, uh, you know, like a man being a whole, a man. I'm good, man. Especially with technology, too, being you know, a little pervert here, but like, I can go get myself a nice little device, like women had their toys back in the day men have them too and that's real talk kids don't understand stuff but like there's like bj machines out there like what is this thing what or like sex dolls or what <laughs> so but you got to take care of your own needs if you don't have anybody else there because if not you're gonna be miserable you're gonna be stressed you gotta not be hangry either uh, so i've been eating a little better lighter but like better like the banana today peanut butter and i will eat again before i go to bed and I will take my pre-probiotic, the Fortify one, as it doesn't have caffeine in there. And that's what I was saying to my one buddy, Michael Green, on a kid behind a camera. As he, he's always struggled with his weight. I have to. I'm 6'2". I've been 225 pounds at 6'2 for two plus years now. That's because I take those pre-probiotics and my vitamins, of course. In the morning when I wake up and eat breakfast or even when I only eat a bite of something before I go to bed. If I'm like, oh, let me eat something before I go to bed. You can do it three times a day. Probiotics are crucial to your routine, your diabetic, your happy belly. And, of course, the lemon juice. You have to find what you're putting in the body first. If it, it'll, I'm telling you, man. Like I, You see me, I eat whatever I want. I don't stop eating. I don't even exercise right now. And there was a time when I didn't have all that stuff, and I had to exercise, like get the cardio going. But you still need to do cardio and stuff, too. But like you don't have to if you get the nice supplements coming to you and then add the cardio. And I want to eventually get the weightlifting, get a little ab roller and all stuff. I will get there. But it is what you put in the tank that you take out. You got to put it back in your body. And like I said before, I can't. I am so proud of Beckham for saying, take vitamins, kids. He is so stinking cute. That is like, it, it could benefit others. And as this channel continues, I will just continue to make memories of my kids, and I care less if nobody's watching it other than us. 
But their parents are like, oh, our kids are taking their vitamins. <laughs> they wouldn't take them before. They, they think they think Brody and Becker are the cool kids. They're like, yeah, they're pretty cool. So they ish themselves all day. But then they're like, <laughs> I joked around with the watch. It's like, it's okay. My my son ishes himself every day, too. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude. See, that's the kind of parent I would need to meet. A mom like that, a single mom like that. That in the goal's lifetime hit. Rush. When the boys get a little bigger. Dad's very happy. And I am very, very proud of my sons, and I will continue to do this every day. Again, like I said, whether anybody watches it or not, as he's been private for nearly a year. And share them. We just did them every day. They watched them. We would laugh about them. So anyway, stop judging, stop loving, accept that as we are, just be yourself, be ouch. Treat the kids the way you wanted to be treated as a kid, at least the best you can. And that's a, you know, it's tough. You're going to get angry. You're going to get frustrated when you got a uh, special needs kids. Kids in general, they all buttheads. <laughs> As I see people all the time in these groups, this is a man that discussed basically the same thing I did the other day about like uh, parenting the kids. He's got three autistic kids. You got to parent the kids just because they're autistic. Don't let them get away with stuff. And I see in their groups like, yeah, hey, we let my son do this and do that. And now he's 23 years old, still doing the same thing just because they're autistic. They're stimming, that's different. Let them stim. They're misbehaving. Ah, oh, hell no, dog. Get on that. Say, this is no. Sit your ass down. Be quiet. Behave. Eat your dinner. Eat your lunch. Behave. And if you don't get on that and you baby them too much, next thing you know, you got a 23 year old man sleeping in the bed with you and your mom or your, you and your, your wifey over there. You know what I mean? It's, it's the truth. And I see it all the time because you baby your kids too much. People do it with kids that aren't autistic. Like, oh, my. my daughter won't go to bed unless she sleeps in the bed it's because you let that happen don't let it happen if you want your sleep your sleep is crucial i got three or four good nights of sleep i'm just like my body's just like yeah oh i gotta sleep nine ten hours without waking up the beckham going bam 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 kicking the door i mean you want to be you want to love and your kids as much as possible you got to be tough on them at times and i know not screaming at them is the best solution but sometimes you got to raise your voice and since I've got more locks here, I was up to my glasses on. Beckham and Brody ain't getting out of the house. Like a lot of people say, like, how are you able to have them downstairs? They said, locks and locks and locks and locks. While you're out there in the garage, they're locks. Like they're both autistic? Yes, locks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a routine that we have. Because I'm not going to sit in the, bed, in the living room and go, oh yeah, we're watching Monsters Inc. again after we just watch it upstairs in the bedroom. Like. It's just a balance, 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 balance. And no judgment towards any parent. Everybody's different. Every child is different and unique and beautiful, man. And every parent out there, y'all are beautiful too, man. You guys got your things going on too besides caring for your kids. It's a tough world we live in today. All this BS we live in all day. And today, like I said, I stocked on the soup. But like, I want to prepare for my kids. God forbid ever anything ever comes to a thing where there's no food available. I'm looking at bulk orders of tuna fish. Like, I mean, that's for mom and I, but then... Brody spaghetti. I would love to just stock that up in that dad area up there in the bedroom up there because as much as like I appreciate Ma, she's not prepared for anything. If something ever happened where we're like we had Y two K a long time ago, all that nonsense. And the new election comes like, people people are paranoid, ignorant human beings. And we do dumb things. The next thing you know, there's no food available at supermarkets for like a month. How are you gonna feed your kids and take care of them? Basic necessities. And again, the rainwater. No catching rainwater out back. It's illegal. <laughs> You can't go to the ocean and use the new filtration systems that are out there that can actually filter salt water and make it drinkable. That's illegal. <laughs> I don't think that's illegal. Like, catching rainwater is illegal. Cuckoo. But I am rambling because I like to ramble and talk on these things, and it's over our video today. But I'm just, again, I'm proud of you boys. Brody and Beckham, the behavior today was so, so good. And Dad is now 42. Tomorrow we'll come out here tomorrow night. Friday afternoon when Mom heads out. Come do our uh, water play. And hey, Dad could use a nice a shower tonight, but I could use a better, nice bath shower. Just to enjoy our company of each other. And, you know, watch whatever's on TV. Just, you know, appreciate the boys. Appreciate your kids the best you can. Because uh, tomorrow's never promised. And you wake up one day and say, how the hell did my kids get so big? Because if you're seeing your kids each day and you didn't realize how much they've grown, you're not spending enough time with them. I see them clearly each day grow. Like, man, even I'm away from like a day or two. I've only been away from them one time since Thanksgiving Day. 
spend it alone by myself. It stunk, but I did it. Just to get sleep. She didn't have anything going on here either because we don't have any family like that. And it stinks. And as I always say to her too, I said, hey, can you please be the man? <laughs> and I would welcome with open arms. He, he, she probably wouldn't like that. Like, hey, come join me out here in the garage. Oh, you're another one who goes out to the garage and watches UFC fights and wrestling. <laughs> But that's the truth, man. Uh, yeah, I would never hate on a man being with their mom. I would love that. <laughs> I would hope she would accept that one day with me with a woman. That's why I've really taken my time <laughs> with that. Because I've had a couple of options. like, do I want to cause corruption and, you know, <laughs> disruption? <sighs> I ran one too much. But, you guys, it's sound asleep up there. I'm under the moon. It's in this vlog. Uh, and I am going to pour myself a nice drink. As I deserve it. You boys are beautiful. You're kind. You're smart. You're everything to dad. And your dad will literally do anything for you too. So, I'll see all boys tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Go love and F yourselves. Put the kids first, please. Again, the best you can. Take care.